Hey, hey, Dan from danwagner.co with a tutorial on converting text files to Excel files. In this particular case, we're going to convert semicolon delimited text files to Excel 2003 format files. So before we get too far into the mix, I want to stress that I'm using functions from the VBA tool belt please go and download yourself a copy. This is going to save you from writing hundreds of lines of code that has already been tested and proven out in the wild. And so with that, let's talk a little bit about prompt user to select files. The first argument is whether or not you want to allow the user to select multiple files in one shot. I want to pick 10 files in this case, right? And so I'm going to set that to true. The next option is the text that you'd like to see inside the Windows Explorer window that pops up when, when this function gets called. And so we set that to please select the target semicolon delimited text files. And finally, the last argument we're going to pass in is a string representing the file type that you're interested in. And in the linked tutorial down in the description, you can find out what all the options are. But in a nutshell, it's TXT, CSV, XLS, XLSX, XLSM, XLSB, etc. So really quick, let's run this script and see how prompt user to select files works for us. Cool. So after clicking play, I get a Windows Explorer window, just like you'd expect. The message that we typed in here, this string message that we sent as the second argument to prompt user to select files, is up at the top of the Explorer window, which can be super helpful for your users because it tells him or her exactly what to do. Please select the target semicolon delimited text files. And if I hold down shift, I can grab as many of them as I want, just one or four of them. Or I can even grab different ones all at once by holding down control. But that is not the end game here. What we really want to do is convert these semicolon delimited files into Excel 2003 files. So. Most of the magic happens right here in the for loop. So the, the real workhorse here is workbooks.opentext. The first thing that you need to pass to workbooks.opentext is the file path to the text file that you'd like to open, which makes a lot of sense. Then once that's handled, the method workbooks.opentext works almost exactly like range dot text to columns or if you're used to doing this by hand inside Excel it works almost exactly like the actual text to columns button that you would click up in the ribbon and so since we know the text files are delimited with a semicolon and that's a very common delimiter there's an option built right into workbooks dot open text if we set semicolon to true it knows to delimit the file on semicolons. After that, we set a reference to the active workbook, which is what we get after running workbooks.opentext. We prepare a file name, which is going to be exactly the same as the text file, except we, we use this little formula to get rid of the last four characters, which is .txt. And finally, we call save as on the data workbook that we just prepared. And we use file format is equal to 56, which is the Excel 2003 format. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to pick out my semicolon delimited files and then click open. And you'll see that we're generating these files now in the same folder. 
which is great. This type of conversion is something that you'll do very often. Cool. And so the script lets us know that we've converted all of our files and that we're done. And if we open up one of these guys, we'll see that in fact, Excel did parse those semicolons correctly. Now, workbooks.opentext is really flexible and it's a shame I don't see it more often in the wild because it can handle this sort of text parsing in even harder situations. So let's say that instead of semicolons, we have a pipe delimited file, like this one right here, and the other files inside this folder. If you want to handle a pipe delimited file that doesn't have a ready-made argument for this type of character, all you need to do is set the other value to true, and then you need to set the other character value to a string representing the delimiter character in the file. And so in this case, it's the pipe character. That's it. That's all we need to do. If we want to be proper about it, we can change target semicolon delimited text files to target semi, or excuse me, target pipe delimited text files. And let's click play. I'm going to navigate to the pipe delimited, uh, excuse me, the pipe delimited files. Click OK. And as you can see, we're spitting out these files here in a hurry as well. Files have been converted. Let's open up. Awesome. And now you can see. Excel understood the pipe delimiter, no sweat, and we wind up with an Excel 2003 format workbook, easy peasy. Since converting text files is such a common task for analysts, I would highly recommend keeping this routine in your back pocket because you're probably going to use it more than once. And I hope this has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or concerns. Thanks so much.